Okay, so we're going to do some extra examples. Hi, Ella. Everyone say hi to Ella. Hi, <laughs> So we're here. Um, we're going to do section 1.5.2. Factor by grouping extra examples. So here's our first example, NP plus 2N plus 8P plus 16. Now this whole idea behind factor by grouping is I'm going to create these groups. So I just group my first two terms together, and then I'll group my second two terms together. Now I just treat each group as like a greatest common factor idea. So if I just look at my first group, ignoring the second group, I don't even care about the second group right now, what can I factor out of both of these terms? I can factor an n out. And if I factor an n out, what's left behind? P, P plus 2. Now we'll ignore our first group and just factor outside of our second group. What can factor out of both these terms? Eight. And if I factor the eight out, what do I have left behind? Oh no. Does that look good? I think that looks good. Do we both, do we have P plus two for both of them? It doesn't cancel. This is that idea of factoring an expression out. If they both share P plus 2, then I can factor the expression P plus 2 out. And if I factor out P plus 2, what's left behind? An N. Right here. I have an N left behind for that one. And I factor P plus 2 out of this one. What's left behind? And we got to keep that sign in the middle. Are there any questions about that? That's the answer. This is factor by grouping. Because if we distribute it, if we did all our rainbows, we'd get back to our original problem. Will you try this one, please? I will work it, but I, I want to try to go behind you. That way you can just check yourself as you go. The rainbows are easier. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Teach their own. Sorry, Ella. I'm like yelling at Ella right now. <laughs> Any questions about that second example? Any questions? Let's try a third example. We've got to deal with the, what happens when there's a negative in the middle. Those are the tricky ones.
because the key to making these work is the fact that they both have that y minus 7. That's why this works. So if I'm factoring, I don't get the same exact thing attached to it. I need to make some adjustments. So this is how I recommend we tackle these. When I'm setting up my groups, include that middle negative. This is a strategy that works well. What can I factor out of my first group? They both have a B. Can't factor a number out because that's a 3 and that's a 2 and they don't divide. But they do both share a B. So let's factor the B out. Now I'm looking at my, this group right here, and I have 3C, a positive 3C, and a negative 2. So when I factor out of this, I want that to still happen. I want this to become a negative 2, and I need this to be a positive 3C. What should I factor out to make that happen? Positive 5 or negative 5? Positive 5. It does. The signs need to match up perfectly. So are both my 2's negative? Are both my 3 C's positive? Now we can say these expressions are the same. That's why they're the same. Okay, so now I can, since they are the same, do we see that they're the same? Any questions about those being the same? They're the same? Order doesn't matter for addition. Okay, so I'm going to factor out my 3C minus 2. And if I take the 3C minus 2 out, what is left behind? B plus 5. Question? One more example. Now that you see uh, the strategies for dealing with negatives, make sure your signs match up. Try this one. Any questions on this one? Yeah. If I switch this order, that doesn't matter because it's multiplication. 2 times 5 equals 5 times 2. So this order I do not care about. The signs on the inside are what I'm going to be looking for. Any questions about me factoring out a negative 7? That was straightforward. That made sense. Okay. Question. The reason why I need to factor out a negative is because the first thing I did is I saw what I have here. I have a positive g and a negative five. So what do I have to factor out here to make this a positive g and this a negative five? I got to factor out a negative seven. So it's all about making sure these match up. If they don't match up, go back a little bit and change your factoring up. That's we got to have a match up, otherwise factoring doesn't work if things don't match. Any other questions? Okay, Ella, well, thank you for joining us on this. That was great. Everyone say bye to Ella. Bye. Bye, Ella.
I swear they're here. <laughs> 